One quick way to speed up your daily workflow in After Effects is to become a master in how to quickly group and select multiple layers for animation. In this tutorial, we're going to better organize this multi-layered composition by dividing layers into groups using labels and some keyboard commands. The composition we're working on is a pre-visualization for a smartphone app, and so the aspect ratio is more vertical than horizontal. Just so we can see all of the layers all at once, and the composition panel at the same time, I'm going to come up to the upper left corner of the composition panel and click right on the name composition, which is the tab of that panel. Making sure to hold your mouse button down as you drag, drag the panel down to the bottom panel, and then go over to the right until you see the trapezoid. Then you can let go. And then hover over the top part of that panel that we just relocated, and click and drag up once you get the double arrows. I know this might look a little strange, but now I can see all the layers here, and I can see their visual representation right here. In the timeline, let's work from the top down. I'll turn the visibility of layer 1 off and on, and I can see that these layers with the letter B are the buttons that are on the top. So I'll select layer 1, and I'll hold Shift on my keyboard, and select layer 3. And by holding Shift between my first and last selection, any layers in between will automatically get selected as well. To group these visually, go to the left side of the timeline and you'll see label colors. Click on any one of the labels and let's change the color to orange. Select layer 4 and if you look in the composition panel, you'll see control handles around that layer. So that looks like a title. And if I click on the next one, okay, that's the menu bar that pops up. This is the actual bar. And then this is the next title, hiking. So I have hiking and mountain climbing. Okay, so let's go through and select all the titles. I'll select layer four, but instead of holding shift, this time I'll hold control on Windows or command on the Mac and select hiking next, mountain climb next, ice climb after that, and then camp. Let's group these together in the timeline. Click on layer 16 and drag up and then let go of your mouse just underneath layer 4. Let's give these layers a custom label as well. Click on one of the labels, and this time let's change it to dark green. Since the menu lines appear to be on their own, I'm going to move them all the way to the top of the layer hierarchy, and I'll just leave them their original layer color. Let's go down and select layer 10. I'll put all these bars into a group, so I'll select the top bar, I'll hold control, select not the hike image, we'll select the hike bar, MC bar, IC bar, and camp bar. Rather than grouping these all in a row, let's leave them alone and just give them their own custom label color. I'll click on the label color for 17, and I'll choose red. For these last few layers, let's use the select label group function. Click on the label and choose Select Label Group, and it will select all those layers with the same color. To deselect any layers that have already been selected, hold down Control on Windows or Command on the Mac, and then click on the layer you'd like to deselect. Now let's give this group a custom color, and change its label color to yellow. Finally, before I finish working with this project, I'm going to go up to my workspaces and right next to the standard workspace, I'll click on its menu bars, and I'll say Reset to Saved Layout. So assigning custom label colors can go a long way to making your timeline look much more organized and presentable. One of the nice things, if you get to layers that aren't in a continuous order, you can always use the label color to select the label group.